Auntie's Creative Studio. I'm Angie. Today, uh, we are going to do a simple watercolor. Well, I think it's going to be simple. And as you can tell, I've already drew my lines on here. Sorry for the shadow. No. Anyways, um, I drawed it straight, and then I went just a little bit down this way, and then I went this way. This is gonna be our be uh, the beach area. This is gonna be the water, the mountains, whatever here, and the sky or the high rise. So, like I said, I'm going to try this. This may not work out like I think it should. But, we'll, we'll play along with it and see. And I am going to use this um, Ultramarina Blue that's in the Durant uh, Intense set. To do my water and my sky. Because what's ever here has to come down. And I'm, I'm putting about six different photos that's in my head together. So I'm not for sure this is going to come out like I want it, but we'll see. And y'all, I love land, I love painting landscapes, if y'all ain't noticed. Landscapes and flowers is my favorite things to paint. And if it's not y'all's, I'm sorry. And I'm just going to go right down through here because I'm wanting the trees to show also through the blue. This is just my outline. I mean, I probably won't use it a whole lot, but I will, but I won't. Does that make sense? Does that make sense at all? And this is probably five and a half by seven, maybe six by eight. I really don't know what size this is. Let me find a rule. This is about nine. By six and a half sheet of paper. <clears throat> now I did tape off the edges so that it's going to leave a little bit less, about a quarter inch. I just and what I taped it to, if you don't know, is a, a one of the placemats from Dollar Tree. You get two of them for a buck. I've got a ton of them because when we was ma I was making masks last year, we bought a bunch to make the uh, we, the mats the mask didn't have to go all over the ears. You could just put the anyways. I spent, but they weren't great to tape your paper down and keep it keep it flat. This is not the, um, this is just my practice sheet paper that I practice on all the time, uh, when I'm practicing a new technique or whatever, um, new painting, mostly if I'm painting for YouTube, um, because it's, like I said, but I will link it below if, uh, Amazon even still has it. I did not buy it off of Amazon, but Amazon did have it at one time. It's 
it's pretty good paper, I guess. It's just, I mean, I like it. It just, it really buckles. I mean, I don't, if you put too much water on it, and I have a tendency to do that. Even with it taped down, it still buckles. It comes in a package. It's all uh, pre-cut, loose. And uh, I use it a lot for notes. Because it's, I keep the package up right above my desk in the shelf above. And I, it's just real easy for me to grab. Sometimes it may be too easy. But um, I'm just... Okay, now I am going to use a scruffy. Grip. What brush is this? A scruffy brush. And this is from um, Plaid One Stroke Donna Newberry series. Uh, matter of fact, that's how I got into painting. <laughs> I was watching a lot of her videos. And I am bringing in some green that I mixed over the weekend. And I'm going to dab some of this water out of it. I got too much. Okay. And this is how I'm making my, my trees today. And I'm just going to dot. I mean, just be like a dot and a little four. Or a big four or one. I don't know which, which one y'all want me to be, I guess. And I'm just going in, I'm just going back in and get my green. I mix. This is a pre-mix green that I pre-mix myself with Ultramarina and uh, medium yellow. I have some kits that I don't like the mixes in, and this is one of them. I've got the green here. I'm just using my half pan, the one that is a half pan. I mean, it just filled half of a pan. And, uh, because it still ain't completely dry. And now I'm going to turn my brush sideways to get it narrow. And this is a one and a half inch. I've got a fourth of an inch. I don't like how the... It's just not, not what I want today. But that's all I'm doing to these trees. And going in, making some of, you know, just knock them to give it some value. I mean... Now, to clean this, you have to hit the bottom of your cup or jar, whatever you clean in with, and clean it. And I mean, when you're using watercolor with it, it's not that bad. But if you're using acrylics, it is. Because watercolor just kind of, once they get wet again, they kind of just dissolve. Now, I'm going back in with my gray, I mean my, my blue, and just kind of going right along that line. And now, this is not, that is not ink, uh, ink tense, um, just so y'all know. That's just saying that, I, um, matter of fact, I'm not for sure what brand. I think I used two or three brands on that mix. And the good thing about using these mats, I mean, you can use it as a palette also. 
if you want if you don't have enough room for a pallet on your desk or if you're out on location I keep one in my backpack that I travel with just in case just for a pallet a lot of times Because I'm wanting, I mean, if I want, some, if I'm doing something big, I'm, I'm wanting a big palette. Uh, just a minute. I gotta get something from the pup. Yeah, she knows it. Daisy May! gray also over the weekend and I'm going to use it in the water and the sky to do my darks and um, I'm just using some that is in my my this thing palette and glass glass deal and I'm just going just kind of going in and just playing around with it well I want my dogs Okay, down here, uh, let's see, let's try some blue, and some of this gray. We'll get this line out of here. We may not, we may just have to put some grass. We'll just put some grass. Okay, I'm going to build me a rock. And I'm going to just use whatever I've got out on my palettes. This, I think this is, I use this for, I don't know. Now I'm going in with a fan brush, I think. Okay. I've got a number four fan. And I'm gonna do this with dry and just go up. I'm starting on my uh, tape to get it going. And I'm just barely touching the paper. I mean, I'm not using a whole lot of pressure right now. 
dip that in just enough to get that paint wet. Now, um, for this grass, I think I'm going to use this scruffy again. Let's see. Let's put some more green paint on that. And I'm just going in, just kind of patting it. do this backwards guys I'm not sure what I'm doing today okay we're going to take the fan brush again get some wet get that wet and I'm just going to go in Probably fixing me an interrupted. Okay. I am done. Well, no, I'm not. I ain't liking this. Okay, I'm going to spread this out since it's dried. And that's one thing about watercolors. Once they dry, you can use them, go back in and re wet them. And kind of smear them out so they don't look so horrible. And it's going to give me highlights also. Okay, I think I am done with this painting. I hope y'all enjoyed this little watercolor tutorial. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to us for more uh, content. And have a blessed day. Bye.